evening. You are tuned to KGVM Bozeman. We are Gallatin Valley Community Radio. You can find us at 95.9 on your FM dial or kgvm.org online. And it is time tonight for the Local Musician Spotlight. We're here in the Tune Factory with Three Miles to Climb. Well, we're big rock singers. We got gold. dollars a show we take all kind of pills it's all kind of thrills but the thrill we never know is a thrill that'll get you when you get your picture on the cover of a rolling stone guitar, Garrett. a better way We got all the friends that money can buy so we'll never have to be alone In the bleak getting richer but we can't get our picture on the cover of the road Doctor Hook in the Medicine Show for you. This next one is uh, it's an original we call it Grim. Laugh. 
it's cold. Oh, oh, I'm so pissed off. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> thank you. I want to thank you guys for coming in tonight. I'm glad that we finally got her worked out and got you in the Tune Factory here. I um, wonder if you guys wanted to just introduce yourselves. I'll start with Frank over here. Uh, I'm Frank Ryland. Uh, I'm out of Wilsaw, Montana. <laughs> right back here on the drums. This is Rich Williams. I'm on the drums. I'm from <laughs> Great Falls. Garrett Benjamin from right here in Belgrade, Montana. Kent Garwick, Livingston. <laughs> My name's Tyler Potter, and about... Uh, it's so almost four and a half years ago now. We put this band together, me and Frank, and uh, we've been playing little little shows here and there, up all the way up to some big stages recently. And uh, yeah, we've been uh, progressing quite a bit for the last four years. So we're yeah. glad we finally got into the Pat Cave to do one of these KGVM specials. Exactly. I mean, you know, it's a it's a nice little spot here. It is. So, uh, um, three miles to Clyde, but it sounds like. Maybe it's dispersed a little bit from the from the point of origin, huh? It has since we since we started the band in Clyde Park. Um, yeah, life happens. We've moved around <laughs> quite a bit, and uh, we're just lucky to have this um, class of class A musicians standing behind me and Frank for the, this project. And uh, couldn't be happier with these guys. They've done a lot of good hard work for this band, and um, glad to have them on board. Yeah, it's nice to be able to kind of keep it together and. Um, I couldn't remember it. The lineup hasn't, I mean, it's obviously changed over the four and a half years, but it's been pretty stable for a while, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. We've all been gigging pretty pretty much through the whole summer um, as a group here with this lineup. And uh, yeah, so nice. maybe six, eight months, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking back through some photos to post something on Facebook today, and I think I found one of you guys back at the filling station back in last April. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe opening for... The blues band from up in Kalispell. It was, it was either uh, was it Kenny. Yeah, Kenny Kenny, James, Miller, Miller, Kenny James Miller band. Yeah, it was either that one or Grant Ferguson. I can't remember. I think it was Kenny James, Kenny James Miller. Miller. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I've been uh, playing out quite a bit this past year. It's looked like. Uh, yeah, we really have. Uh, we got the honor of playing Rock in the Rivers, which is, uh, you know, Montana's premier biggest rock festival in the state. Uh, that was great fun. It was great fun. <laughs> We all had a blast, um, <laughs> you know, in a, in a state that's predominantly country and swing and stuff like that uh, for the gigging scene. Uh, this band is kind of more of a specialty band for those kind of events that cater to rock and roll, if you will. Yeah. It, yeah. Rock in the Rivers is kind of, um, I think, kind of evolved over the years. You know, it was kind of the first couple of years seemed like pretty, pretty much classic rock, like you know older acts and stuff but it seems like they're kind of mixing things up more get a little few more local bands on the stage at rock and rivers which is yeah. awesome i was really happy to see a lot of local bands and uh you know just bands on that lower level but like like we said earlier we got to see don felder we got to see jefferson starship vixen uh just extreme just lots of great classic rock bands that we all grew up listening to you know yeah. so it's fun to play the same festival as that yeah that's pretty cool um yeah, I wonder if you guys want to play some more songs, and then we'll chat about stuff. Sounds good, buddy. This next one's an original uh, by us. This one's called Bite Down. Run 
Original we call by down, written by Frank Ryland here. Next we're gonna play you guys a cover tune. You guys might know this one. Just one. 
We've been playing that one for about three years. I'd like to put a little bit of energy into it, if you can tell. <laughs> Good for you to work out the kinks now. And I think the the Tom Toms back there get a little bit of a beaten at that on that song too. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. He makes well sure deserved. they're worth their money. That's right. All right, this next song we're gonna do is our uh, latest single that we have released. This one's called Hot Miss Angel.
nice. A little hot mess, Angel. I do have to give a little credit there. Our buddy uh, Tristan Seegers, he was our original rhythm guitarist. He actually moved down to Arizona to go pursue a career in recording, engineering, and stuff like that. But uh, he's the one that wrote the riff for that song, so I got to give props to Tristan. <laughs> so when he gets done with, uh, with school, you got somebody to do your album. Hopefully, man. <laughs> Hopefully playing tickets are cheap. I don't get the instruments to Arizona, isn't <laughs> No, that's true. That's true. <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys, uh, how does the songwriting go? Who Most of the stuff, uh, Frank and Tyler, you guys yeah. write most of the songs? or I mean, all of us, per se, write a little bit. And having all that creative ingenuity in the band definitely helps pro propel the songs because we'll bring rough drafts of our stuff and then we'll just start layering on everybody's take on their part and it usually meshes out to be a really cool song lots of different dynamics and cool unique parts but uh i'd say frank's been writing the heftier majority of the lyrics lately yeah. i've written a few and uh i've turned to more writing songs from a country band so kind of kind of taking a rock break on the writing right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think i've seen several of you in other bands and i think most of them have been country or bluegrass yeah we've uh, got quite diverse backgrounds here actually kent yeah. you want to say a little about yours i started out as a rock player a long time ago back in maryland and stuff like that and then started picking up uh, contra and bluegrass when i lived in teton valley idaho and been doing that for about 20 years but the rock never left me yeah nice <laughs> gary here he's playing with multiple bands why don't you tell us about that yeah I'm actually playing tomorrow night with uh, Matt Wallen in the Nervous Breakdown, How to Bridge a Brewing. Starts up at 7 for all of those listening. But I play, I, I play a lot of bluegrass, and uh, I actually grew up a metalhead listening to, like, Lamb of God and Hawthorne Heights, that kind of thing. <laughs> Bench seven that's, old, a, you know. that's a little travel getting from there to a bluegrass band. Yeah, you know, it's, all kind, of, it's kind of the same idea. They're just, like, you know, <laughs> reckless abandon, fast picking. There you go. That's just, true. That's true. Go for it. Fast We've got the unified field theory of music right there right. Sure. <laughs> frank here has been playing in bands for what 30 years i don't know if it's that long 20 I mean, I don't know. <laughs> i'm asking it's a question frank come on uh off and on off and on i, I took a, a giant break and then met this kid at a at a birthday party brought his little amp and guitar and i was just kind of singing along with him and yeah i've been in a couple bands and He's like, oh, yeah, and a couple of weeks later, he's like, hey, you want to be in the band? I'm like, uh, sure. <laughs> I was pretty much like, hey, Frank, you're in my band now. <laughs> and that's how Three Miles to Clyde started. Uh, Rich, he's currently playing with how many people? A few? Uh, at least four, I think. I'm playing with Jared yeah. Hansen. I'm playing with you, the last minute surprise. Kent and I were playing with uh, Tamala for a while. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, four or five different acts here in the Montana area. Right on. Yeah, and I know there was one point in the summer you were playing for like eight different bands at once, and I was like, Rich, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an animal. I just love to play. I mean, I guess that way you never have to unload the drum kit out of your car. Well, I got seven <laughs> different drum kits, one for each band I play with. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's, uh, he takes it pretty seriously. Rich is one of the most best professionals I've ever worked with. Thank you. To be honest. I mean, Here's the 20 bucks. That, <laughs> that kick drum has got some authority. I got to say that. Um, it's all so that sticker, man. Th uh, there you go. It's a 3M2C. If you see those stickers around, they're all over the place. Uh, it's three <laughs> miles to Clyde. Probably should have specified that somewhere on the sticker. Everybody's like, what, what? is that? <laughs> <laughs> Them that know, know. Yeah, exactly. So how does it feel getting to uh, like rock out if you've been playing with some of the country bands and stuff? Is it kind of oh, it's a good fun release. to get that get going and let the energy out? I mean, not to say that, that you're not letting the energy out with country bands, but I think... Sometimes it's a little different. It's a different level of energy. Yeah. Hard, hard to headbang to Dwight Yoakam. You know, yeah. or if you do, people look at you kind of, kind of the weird, eyebrow yeah. goes up. And As they should. <laughs> That's right, yeah. well, But it's great to be able to, to, to play with more than one band. I mean, you, you, as a musician, you like that versatility. Yeah. And playing with a rock band is great. Playing with a country band or a soloist is great, too. You get to show off your chops and learn different licks and, and play some different things. So that diversity and variability is Great fun for a musician. Builds yeah. the resume, too, yeah. for sure. Keeps things fresh, I yeah. imagine. Like when Garrett joined the band, he was like, I was like, you sure you want to do this, man? He originally joined as a bass player, and then as soon as I heard him play guitar, I was like, okay, I'm playing bass. And that was whack before Kent was playing with us. And uh, um, the way he put it was, I was like, are you sure about this, man? You're bluegrass, you're country, yada, yada. And he's like, hey, man, he's like, 
I need to scratch that rock itch every now and then. That's right. <laughs> You don't want to don't leave it unscratched or it'll develop into a rash or something. I don't know. That's why I'm not a doctor, but <laughs> the rock doctor, Bob. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it, you're obviously having fun, so. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, Anna, <sighs> Should we play do? another? Yeah. <laughs> Another shot, get lit for my baby. Louie! 
It's a quarter to two What you wanna do It's a quarter to three, you know what I mean. Sit'll twist for you, baby, hit a rip for you, baby. Take another shot, get a lit for me, baby. Oh, hey! It's a quarter to four. Do we have any more? It's a quarter to one I'm looking for fun It's a quarter to two What you wanna do It's a quarter to three Know what I mean It's a quarter to four If you're just tuning in, this is KGV in Bozeman, the local musician spotlight. And uh, we're in the Tune Factory with Three Miles to Clyde. I want to take this moment to thank the glue that holds this whole thing together, Pat Loken and Loken Productions, our host, and uh, the guy who does all the sound setup, the video, all the work, really. I just get to come in here and chat with bands and listen to great music. So thanks to Pat. And when, you, when he's not here at the Tune Factory, you might find him down at the Filler promoting shows. Some upcoming shows at the Filler. Next Monday night, Boot Juice will be there, touring band. Bring your dancing shoes. They'll be there with Bubba Fett opening. And uh, on the 20th, Peter King will be doing a songwriter circle. I think that uh, Danny B and Cleo Allen Toller may be going to be on the bill there. So that should be a lot of fun. And then on the 21st, Dead Sky is going to be down at the Filler. So, uh, you know, get your tie-dye out. I don't, you probably don't really need to wash it. I mean, who could tell if you spilled on it anyway? So, uh, um, and uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys again for coming in and uh, playing for us tonight. Yeah, man, it's our pleasure. Yeah. Of course. <laughs>
Uh, when the fire dies. That was the first one that we ever recorded and released at uh, Sound Color Studios. Nice. It's nice to get that sax in there. Even a hard rocking song, you can you can get the sax in there. Yep. Got it. Once again, from. Hailing from Fort Shaw, Montana currently, Mr. Richard Williams back here. It's not like all the way 
I'll be here I'll be here. That's another original written by Frank. Right. Busting out the saxophone again. How are we doing on time, boys? we got about a uh, little over 10 minutes left. You can do that. All right. That means no 15 minutes sax solo. Oh. <laughs> no chance of that. Time stops when you're playing the saxophone. Didn't you know that? I, I don't, so I didn't. <laughs> Remember when the computer clock was glitching out earlier? Oh, that's right. That was the sax. Sa secret sax power.
as you lie awake in bed all the echoes of the amplifier ringing in your head then you smoke the day's last cigarette remembering what you said We got one more for you, Bob. We got time? Uh, we got a couple minutes, so it'll have to be a short one. All right, you just go ahead and start cutting us off whenever. Okay, I'll give you the slide. When the 
Forget the stars, forget sunshine Guys, we are three miles to Clyde. All right. Do you guys have any recorded music out? You uh, said some. Yeah, we do. We've uh, recorded some good stuff with um, Sound Color Studios out of Livingston. So, uh, I mean, the basics like Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, uh, YouTube. Uh, Pat has shot some great videos for us for the In the Music Box series out on at the Three Miles to Clyde headquarters. So, nice. middle of June, beautiful green day, great music. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of good stuff out there. Uh, YouTube is where I usually turn to to show people some good good content. Cool. Yeah, if people want to see this, if you got in part way through, we'll rebroadcast it on Saturday night at six on KGBM, and you can watch it on YouTube anytime. So uh, you can also see all of the past local musicians spotlights. While you're there, good karma if you hit the subscribe button. So, you know, who can't use some good karma? And thank you guys for coming in, and I uh, hope to see you out and about sometime soon. Oh, we will be. We're uh, in studio right now recording, so as soon as that's done, we're going to start putting some more shows on the calendar and looking to get back to work Absolutely. as fast as we can. Awesome. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs>